ask a young boy what he wants to be when he grows up and his face will light up with glee. A driver, he'll say, of steam engines all day and charge across Britain's great iron way. The controls at his fingers dodging soot and hot cinders under bridges and signals up ahead. Passing fields and stations and woodland plantations, then home, time for tea, and then bed. For the steam locomotive is filled with romance to all those that come out to see her. But that's not to say that on the iron way, that elsewhere may be found to be bleaker. The romance can take place, away from the coal, at the stations in rural locations. Small country stations serving small populations, each with a character and soul. This modest station serves Woodhouse and Quorn, an area where royalty meet. A typical station of great central persuasion, and just like any other, it is and remains unique. On the station work a small team of staff with a close rapport, individuals with personalities, characters, traits and more, breathing life into the walls, the platforms as well, each with their own different story to tell. the chap with gold on his brim, his knowledge of timetables, well where to begin. His standards are high and he'll always insist that the best kept station soon in his midst. Hello, British Railways Paul. Hello matey, message from control. Expect your goods after the next stop stopper. Was delayed leaving Nottingham but now needs to make up time. Do your best. No problem, we're just sort of fire consignment right now. Look at these chaps as this train rolls in, ready to carry your cases through thick and thin. Dressed in their jackets, their buttons on show, their caps on their heads, poised, ready to go. For this is the humble railway porter. He's 16 and besotted with the signalman's eldest daughter. Can be seen pasting up posters or carting round barrows, stopping only to light up his roll of tobacco. This chap's job is one of great prospects. He lives a varied life in many respects. With a clear head and steady persuasion, promotion may call at any occasion. The clerk is often well known for his fingers, black on the ends where the ticket ink lingers. He'll sell you a journey, a half-day tripper, or a weekend in Whitney, full of sea and smoked kipper. The inspector, it said, is never misled to dispatching before it is due. He'll look at his watch and wind it a notch. That train will not leave till it's 4.32. A station is a symbol, the start of adventure, or a place of goodbye to couples who part. Yet most who pass through spare no thought for those who help them arrive and others depart.
Now this is the chap in the signal box, who'd be fooled into thinking it wasn't Fort Knox. Insists any visitors who enters wear slippers, or if they haven't got any, wear socks. When a train arrives, there's a lot to do to get it away the time that it's due. But all is not well and she's chasing time due to troubles encountered further back up the line. Now is the time to claw back that time, for it's time for the station staff to shine. There's parcels to load and some to alight, not to mention the passengers, and time is tight. Here they all come with places to go, couples to London for a West End show. Housewives with shopping, not stopping their gossiping about Ethel whose husband's in tow. Budding young actors searching rich benefactors, old veterans who fought in the war. Chaps with conviction, shop workers, technicians, and old Arthur running late once more. The driver and his mate, upon the footplate, are another small close-knit team. Old Bert, whose whistle tells his wife he'll be late, and the fireman who gives him the steam. <coughs> With a way from the guard and a green for the road, the crew take charge of their cumbersome load. The station work's done, she commences the climb, from corn she departs. And she's running on time. Past the corn gangers who look after the track, who lift and screw and tamp and pack, so that your ride through corn remains smooth and stable, and that your drink doesn't end up all over the table. In the goods yard our wagons are waiting their loads, Arrivals by van coming in from the road. All shapes and all sizes come the parcels they bring, being checked by the checker, not missing a thing. Consignments to Leicester, to Rugby and Lutterworth, parcels to Nottingham, to Rothley and Culworth. Stacked in the van's porters checking for time, then on they all go, storming off down the line. The guard looks out from the back of the train to his brake van's continuous, monotonous refrain. Started out life as this station's porter, became a guard one day because he thought he ought to. Now he gets knocked about all over his van and watches his tea as it's thrown out of its can. Wonders why he wants applied for promotion and retirement soon, a more pleasing notion. And now this mainline country station, which BR once closed for obliteration, has become a place of recreation for volunteers of preservation. And while at times they must be parted, when the last departure has departed, they remain not downhearted, as the station awaits for a new journey that's yet to be started. Music